So here we have two equations and an area, the blue area shaded between them, and we need to find the center of gravity of that area. Now, in my last video, which explains these equations a little bit more, you can click on this video link to go to that. In that video, we integrate the example problem with respect to x, and so we're integrating with horizontal or vertical strips. But in this video, just to give a demonstration of it, we are going to integrate with respect to y, so with horizontal strips. And that's just to show how both of them work and the differences between the two. So that's what we're going over in this video. If you find it helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe. So the first thing we want to do since we're going to be integrating with respect to y, we need to solve these equations for x. And now, since they're already solved for y, normally I would just integrate this with respect to x with, so with um, the vertical strips. But for the example, we are going to integrate with respect to y and we need to solve these equations for x. So this would end up being x equals 2y and this one would be um, x equals 2 square root of y. And now, maybe in the end this would be easier. I don't know. I haven't tried it both ways. But there's those two equations, and now we need to find x bar and y bar. So to find x bar, x bar is going to equal the integral and now we're integrating with respect to y, so it's going to go from 0 to 1. And that's going to be for both x bar and y bar. That's not going to change since we're integrating with respect to y. And x tilde is going to be the center of mass of one of these little strips, so one of these horizontal strips. So if you think about this, maybe this is one of the, it's like an exaggerated view of one of those horizontal strips. Now the x center of mass of this vertical strip is going to be right here in the middle, which is halfway between both of these two functions. So to find the midpoint between those two functions, we take the top one minus the bottom one and divide it by two. But from there, we need to get all this space because we need to find the x center mass with respect to the y axis. So we need this space plus this space. So this space is marked by the function y equals one half x, or we solved it for two y. So it's going to be two y. I'm going to put some parentheses around this. Two y plus the halfway between these two functions, and like we said, that is um, the top function two square root of y minus the bottom function two y divided by two. So that is going to be our x tilde. Now if you'll notice that um, these two all cancel each other out, so we're just going to end up being left with squared y minus y. And so for dA, we are going to have this, um, the dA is the area of this little strip. So the height of it is once again, the distance between these two functions. So the only difference between that and this is it's just not gonna be divided by two. So we will have two squared of y um, minus two y. And then the width of the strip is just the dy, the differential slice. So this is dA, and this is x tilde, or yeah, x tilde. And then dividing by the integral from 0 to 1, that will be the integral of dA, is just this thing again. So 2 squared y minus uh, 2y dy. And you'll notice we could factor out a 2. And with these ones, a lot of simplifying could be done. And it looks pretty nasty right now, but it ends up being, after you simplify, just y minus the square root of y. And 
This one's pretty simple too, but I'm not gonna go over all that in this video. We're just gonna, um, after you simplify all that, this ends up coming out to be um, one third divided by one third, which equals one. And that makes sense. The, it kind of looks like the center of mass might be around the middle on with respect to x. With y, it's not quite be in the center. But for x bar, it's one, one meter away from the y axis. So with y bar, we're going to have the integral, again, from zero to one, where we're still integrating with respect to x. Y tilde this time is just going to be y because the y center of mass is just going to be in the middle of this, which is, since it's just a differential slice, it's just going to be y. It's just gonna be wherever on this function we are integrating. So that's kind of a tip to take. When you're integrating with respect to y, y tilde is just gonna be y. And x tilde is going to be something different. If you're integrating with respect to x, x tilde is just gonna be x, and y tilde is gonna be something different. So we find x or y tilde multiplied by dA. I already found out what that is. Two square root of y minus two y dy. And the integral of dA, we already found that it was one third. So there's no need to calculate it again. Just write it down there. And when you this one's not a really very complicated integral either. Factor out the two, pull it out of the integral, and multiply that y through. And doing that, you end up getting that y bar equals two fifths. So that's not quite in the center. That makes sense because it seems like more of the mass, more of this area is below the halfway mark. So. Um, the hardest part of this is really just setting up these equations, um, knowing what x tilde and y tilde is, what dA is, um, but once you get a hang of that, um, it's really not that difficult. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. Down in the description, in the description I've got some links to Amazon and Teespring where you can buy some merch from Student Engineering and buying that helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer, Student Engineering, and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.